hi all this video we are going to talk about the blue prism some of the best practices regarding to logging and tracing so when we talk about logging that is very important part in any rpa tool logging and tracing some of the rpa process have the methodology with tracing which means the process has seven steps the step one is login and step two is uh, capturing some of the data in page one or step three is capturing data in page two in that case the tracing functionality will help where the bot has failed bot has failed step one or step two or step three but most of the 90% of the RPAs doesn't have tracing, all of them are logging functionalities. See, when we talk about blue prism, by default, stages used in process studio are logged and those in object studio are not. Only stages used in process studio are logged. This can easily be changed by modifying the properties of the stage. So when you see the uh, here you can see uh, if you go navigate properties you can see stage logging in down enabled disabled and one more option is errors only so which i'm showing you it is in objects which means the object studio so here Errors only will log the stage only if an error is thrown when the stage is runs. So when stage runs, error option only be used whenever it will log the stages in errors. So usually in stage logging, we will do enabled. So in three stages, components of the logging so when you talk about each stage within an object can be set one of the following levels that is enabled disabled errors only enabled this is the default that stage name and action will be logged here you can see when you talk about enable stage name which stage you can see stage name is suppose navigate stage or else read stage or write stage where the stage name has been gone through the particular area that is stage name and action which action it has been performed maybe the action of global send key event or action of click whatever it is so if you talk about enable that will be stage name and action will be logged. Disable no information about the stages activity will be logged. Errors only no information will be logged unless the auctions produces an error condition. Suppose any type of system errors, unexception errors, it would be logged in error only stage. Here you can see the stage logging is defaultly enabled in development phase. So when you talk about so here we can see only in object studio there are three stages but when we talk about process enabled disabled errors only and don't log parameters on this stage this is the one for process studio or else any process so here you can see it default it's showing enable, enabled and here one more option is don't log parameters on this stage this is the one for process so in process when you talk about four stages enable disable error only and don't log don't log is nothing it logging of data parameters used to be stage on and off so 
again remaining the same all the conditions are remain same but only thing is don't lock parameters is added in process so when you talk about staging where it will be used so development yes it will be enabled logging data volume it is low when you talk, when you move into test that is mostly enabled and if you talk about production mostly enabled in week 1 production week 2 partially enabled production week 3 and up to the production end it will be mostly disabled so that enable stage stage logging enable stage will be here up to the production first week max some of the process they would not allow in production um, for the logging stage so most of them they are allowing first week second week they will allow partially because it will capture each and every log of the each and every stages and actions so it will increase the data of the dump that is the main reason they are planning to disabled in production hypercare period maybe after hypercare period so what is the recommendation logging for stages within an object should only be enabled during the development phase of your blue prism implementation logging object is not recommended for production systems so what is the best practice the logs are particularly useful during a test phase as means investigate bugs however a live process running all day can put at a waste of amount of data in the, to the database the maintenance and the backup of which should be considered the security or legal implication of storing sensitive data are also something to think about when blue prism process are run by runtime resources then then they log information to the blue prism database over time if not regularly monitored and maintained then the amount of data can get prohibitively large potentially affecting the performance of the product and leading to an inability to establish a reliable automatic archiving function within the blue prism product so the main thing is it will increase the database size in the particular time so after that the logging will be uh, it needs to be deleted in that case uh, the database issues will come that is the reason it will be disabled in production thanks guys thanks for watching this video